everyone and welcome back to Aloha Jen's Beauty Blog. For those of you that are new here, hi! <laughs> My name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician in the state of California. Well, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to go over my current device routine that I have been consistently using for the last month and a half. Now, this device routine I'm absolutely in love with. It's been doing wonders for my skin along with my skincare routine. And I'm going to share with you exactly what I have been doing. But before I get into the details of this video, I have a few announcements and a few things I just wanna to talk to you guys about. So, in my last video, first off, I forgot to mention the Aura Lift. <laughs> Big, huge mistake. So the Aura Lift, I absolutely love and I recommend it for everyone. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions about the Aura Lift, especially when you first get it. Yes. When you first get the Aura Lift, it is big and it doesn't fit in your mouth properly. You must fit the device. Now, I have actually a small mouth and at first when I got the device and I put it in my mouth, I was like, there is no way this is going to work. But once I fitted both devices, everything worked out perfectly. Now, when you fit this device, you can do it through the app or online. And you can also, if you go through the process and it doesn't work out for you, you can also schedule a Zoom call and they will help you fit the Aura Lift for you. They will also help you with your customized routine. If the routine that is planned out within the app, when you sign up for the app after you get your device, isn't working for you, then you reach out to them for support so they can personalize that routine for you further. Now, when you get your device, after you fit it, I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside the mouth. So this is the one that you start off with. This is the purple one. It is smaller blocks than the pink one. And the whole purpose of this device is to put it in there and not let your top teeth touch these blocks right here, which are on the bottom. And you start out for wearing it for 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening every third day. And then you work your time limit up to more and more. And you wanna reach up to an hour and eventually introduce the pink device. Now, some of, I tried getting to the pink device and I wasn't able to. I'm hoping this next round I will be able to get to it. So when you put the device in your mouth, so I'm gonna do the purple one and I'll do the pink one. Here's what it looks like. So, okay, and this curve, okay. As you can see, this curved piece fits slightly behind the lower teeth. Okay, there's that one. And then I'm gonna show you the pink one as it is a lot bigger than the purple one. And you can see them side by side. So when you get the devices, you fit both of them at the same time. And as you can see, this one is a lot bigger and I'll show you what it's like. As you can see, when you wear the Aura Lift device, is it causes your jaw to elongate, okay? And what that does is it's going to put your facial structure back to where it was before. Because over a period of time, as we age, jaw clenching, teeth grinding, certain things shorten our face structure, right? The muscles get tight and just everything looks scrunched up. And when you use the Aura Lift, it's gonna help elongate your face back to its natural shape. It's also gonna help with any sagginess that you see here in your jawline. It'll help define your facial contours and help open up your eyes along with help your posture, okay? So this is a device that has no electrical current whatsoever. And it's something that 
everyone can use. I highly recommend it for everyone. It has done amazing things for me. Now, with my Aura Lift, I am starting this back up again. So unfortunately, with being sick the last month and a half, I had to stop using it because I was coughing so much that I just couldn't keep it in my mouth for the 15 minutes that I was supposed to keep it in there. So on Monday, I will be starting the Aura Lift all over again and it will be a four month treatment program. So I will start it for four months, continue on and hopefully work my way up to the pink one and then take a two month break and start again. That's how it works with the Orlip. It's something that you're always going to have to incorporate in. And I don't mind it because it truly works. And like I said, if you have any questions or any problems with your treatment plan, please reach out to them because when you purchase the Orlifts, they come with a one year Zoom support. And the Oralif team is so helpful, so sweet, and they are there for you guys. Now, the Oralif is currently on sale. It's on sale until December 7th. It's 15% off, and my code will get you an extra 20, or I'm sorry, an extra 10% off for a total savings of 25%. So I believe this is the last sale of the year for the Oralift as they don't do sales very often. So if you're interested in it, this is the time to pick it up. It seriously works. I could guarantee it 110%. You just have to follow the instructions and be consistent with it and you will see changes. It's not going to change your facial structure in a bad way. It's going to reset everything to back to where it was before. It is amazing. And it's travel friendly too. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm not going to fill you in on some details that are coming, but um, some changes are coming to the channel. I'm starting a new year, a new me. I've already started this month. And my... Um, you know, my whole thing for the new year is restoration, restoring my mind, body, soul, and my health. Over the last few years, you know, since the beginning of the pandemic, I, you know, I've been in a dark place and I was hoping that, you know, as 2022 started, I hope thing, I hoped that things would turn around. But as you all know, my 2022 had a rocky start. We lost Molly. And then we gained Misha, who has been such a blessing and has actually saved me and brought me out of a deep, dark place. But along other things with 2022, it's been a really rough year for myself. I hit perimenopause, I've gained weight, and I'm battling this stuff right now and it has taken a toll on me. I started a new job. I ended a job and you know, it's just been a roller coaster ride like this. And I am the type of person that puts myself last and I put everybody before me. So what happens with that is my workouts sometimes don't get in because, oh, I got to film a video. Oh, I got to clean the house. Oh, I got to go to work. So I am taking the year of 2013 and restoring myself. I am going to get myself back in shape. I've already started this week. I feel amazing. I feel back to myself. I still have a pinch of brain fog, but my energy is back and I feel great. I've worked out almost every day this week. I didn't work out on Monday and I'm probably not going to work out tomorrow, which is Sunday, but I feel great and it feels good to be back to my normal self. So I'm going to be working on myself and I'm going to be working on things with the channel. So one of those things is going to be, I'm going to create playlists for you. My friend Darcy from the Brazilian Girl channel. I love her. She is my soul sister, guys. And, you know, if there's a device that I haven't tried, go over and look at Darcy's channel because I trust Darcy 1000%. She is honest and she has become a really good friend of mine and I absolutely love her. I love you, Darcy. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you for all your love and support. And uh, she mentioned to me, hey, you know, you need to create playlists. And yes, I do. The thing that I have an issue with, guys, is I don't have a lot of time. 
Um, you know, I work full time. I take care of my house. I, you know, I have a family and it's just sometimes hard to keep up with YouTube and getting everything that I need done. And then I neglect myself. So I'm going to work on things. It's going to take me some time, but I will get there. I will create those playlists for you. I'm also going to be introducing some new devices for you guys. These are devices that you guys have asked me about um, that I haven't tried because I was worried about my skin. Well, my skin is finally in a healthy place. I'm not breaking out with perioral dermatitis. Every once in a while, I'll get like a little bump here if I do like some fascia release. But even when I wear a mask, my skin's not getting irritated and it's just at the healthiest it's been in years right now, thanks to osmosis. And I'm really happy with the results that I'm seeing in my skin. I'm seeing texture changes from the tightness of my skin. Like when I look at it up close, I'm not seeing the large pores that were there before. The tone, the texture, the appearance, even around my lips here are looking so good. I was starting to get the lip lines right here in my lips and I was noticing that the texture was starting to thin here, but it has changed dramatically. Excuse me, I have to take a sip of water. It has changed dramatically, and I've seen the biggest change like within the last month. It's like, I've just seen like this thing with my skin, it went <laughs> And I'm gonna contribute that to actually my red LED light therapy the Nebulift and the Osmosis Epic Skin Tool because <clears throat> those are the three that I have been the most consistent with in my skincare routine. I have been consistent with my LED light therapy. I have been consistent with my Nebulift. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna cough. Sorry about that guys, I still get the dry throat here once in a while. So I have been consistent with my Aduro 7-in-1. Huge difference in my skin, especially when I was sick with COVID. Oh my gosh, it saved my skin because most people, when they have COVID, their skin gets really inflamed and sensitive and it can be dry, flaky, red. Sometimes people break out in little uh, sores on their face and the LED light therapy seriously saved me. I used the Aduro on my skin booster mode, which is red LED light therapy and infrared with the Mycelma serum. I used my Nebulift. Um, I thought I had it here, but I don't. I used my Nebulift um, radio frequency device and I was using my Myolift microcurrent. I'm sorry, that's not it. <laughs> my microcurrent devices. And for the last 30 days, I've been on this really wonderful routine. I start off in the mornings of doing my LED light therapy. Then in the evenings, I wash my face. I do my Nebulift radio frequency followed by microcurrent and my Osmosis Epic Skin Tool. Now, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some of these devices. So you're gonna see some devices that are gonna be super hot and trending for 2023. And one of those devices is LED light therapy. Now, LED light therapy is trending super hot right now. And the reason being is because there's dermatologists here on YouTube who have gained a certain, like, a a ton of popularity and I could see why like Dr. Lee, Dr. Shireen Iridis, they're like the most popular dermatologists here on YouTube and they're, they have gained so much, they have gained such a following and they're starting to talk about red LED light therapy or LED light therapy in general. These device companies are sending these dermatologists the devices and they're testing them and using them and it's come out. And so other people are playing a part of that role. Now, LED light therapy has been around for years, I think since the 1960s. You know, NASA used, used it to help grow plants. Um, they use it and actually in the military to help heal wounds. 
you know, it's been around because it has so many benefits. And since these dermatologists started talking about it here on YouTube, I've never seen so much, you know, hype around it because people were always thought like, hey, you know, oh, I never see anything in my skin. Well, the reason why you never see anything is because you're not consistent with it. You have to be consistent with it and it takes patience. It's one of my favorite modalities. I've been using it since 2012 and I absolutely love it. So let's talk LED light devices. Now you all know my favorite is Aduro. I love the Aduro because I have treatment options. Yes, it is a 20 minute treatment for the seven in one, but I don't mind. I love the neck and delicate mask. It's my absolute favorite. Other devices I've been researching that I want you guys to look into, if the Aduro is not on your list because you don't want the 20 minute treatment. Now for other masks, um, for a silicone mask, one of the ones that you should look into um, is the Omnilux. So if you don't have hyperpigmentation or if you don't have hypersensitive skin or melasma, then you might wanna look into this treatment. It's a 10 minute treatment, three days a week. This is one of the masks that is built. The quality is great. And the reason why I'm recommending it or putting it out there is because it is a medical grade device. They make professional masks. And I love these companies that work with medical devices because especially when they're making devices um, for professional treatments because they study the skin. It's not just a device that's come out and copying other technology or the clout of the technology out there. So Omnilux, um, the Cure. The Cure is a hard shell mask, but the technology in the Cure looks phenomenal. There's blue, red, amber, deep red, and infrared. You can customize a treatment with the Cure. You can, um, there's an app with it that you can use. It looks pretty great. It's a three minute treatment and this one you could use daily. If you're looking for a panel, you know, like the square panel, you might wanna check out the Mito panel or the Mito. And the reason why I would recommend this panel is because you have red and your infrared and you could choose to turn, you can use just near infrared, you can use just red LED, or you can use a mix of both. And that's the, another thing that I wanna point out with the Omnilux mask is it's just one function. It is very expensive and it's just one function. It's just red and near infrared. And that's why I love my Duro because if I wanna use blue LED light therapy, I have that option. If I just wanna use red LED light therapy, I have that option. If I wanna use red and near, and not near, but red and infrared, I have that option along with other colors as well. The others you do not, unless it's the cure. Now, um, there is another form of, it's a panel or a dome. Lightstim makes one and Dermalux makes one. Now, these two are the ones that I would recommend if you're looking into a dome panel. They are very expensive. They're like $2,500 and these are more of units of as like me as what I would use in the treatment room on my clients versus a silicone mask or a handheld device. If I was to get a handheld device, I'd have to get two of them. So a panel would be suitable for me for the treatment room, but it's also lovely um, at home. You use them for 20 to 30 minutes. Now, I believe the light stem is the same technology as their light stem for wrinkles, and I think it does have blue light. The Dermalux has more technology in it, and it has more lights. So those are the ones that I wanna put on your radar, and if I can get my hands on um, the Cure, I'm going to, I've reached out to them, and I'm in contact with them because I'm very interested in the Cure hard shell one because I love that it has more than one function and it's a three minute treatment. And you know, sometimes when we get in these time constraints, we don't have time for 10 minutes or 20 minutes and we want something quick. 
and we still want to be able to get that LED light therapy in. So keep your eyes out for that. Like I said, I do have some new devices coming in. Um, I was going to say something, but it slipped my mind. As I said, you know, I'm still recovering like my my brain fog is not there so i have a new led device here i did demo it for you it's from current body this is their led um lip perfector so my friend darcy demonstrated this on her channel and i was very curious about this and the reason being is that i am losing collagen in my limbs such as the plumpness my lips are thinning now, the skin around my lips are, is looking great. My vermilion border is being restored, but I need the plumpness of my lips. And so I was turning to LED light therapy because it's non-invasive and it's easy to use, right? It's not like I have to constantly invest into a skincare product or a lip product topically to put on my lips. I can just use LED light therapy because my LED light mask does not hit this area. And I was considering investing in a light stem and I still might invest in the light stem so I can compare this. So here is what it looks like. This is the case that it comes in. This is the box and it comes with this pouch here that you can put this and travel in with. I took this to work with me yesterday and used it. And it also comes with two mouthpieces, so you can interchange them. And they are the same size. And an instruction manual. So here is the device. It looks like this. And you put this part in your mouth, so it looks like a pacifier. So I hold it with my teeth and my tongue. If I hold it with my lips, I find it uncomfortable and it causes me to purse. So. You turn it on right here. It's a three minute treatment. This has red, deep red, amber, and infrared. Now I was enamored by the light technology. It's phenomenal. Those are all great lights for, you know, fine lines and wrinkles, collagen building, you know, like light stem for wrinkles. Those are the lights that they use. So the lights are, must be integrated into one light because when I look at the light stem for wrinkles, you could see all the different colored lights. This one, it just looks like a red LED, right? So I'm not for sure about the technology of that. Now the device quality of this, I would say, yeah, it's okay. Now I've been getting a lot of complaints about current bodies, uh, devices, um, their LED light mask. People are saying like the connection where the cord meets the mask. Um, people are having issues with that and it's like breaking down. Now, what I did find interesting when I purchased this, they offered me a one year, two year, and I think a three year extended warranty that I would have to pay for. And I kind of find that a little kind of off putting sometimes because that means to me like, oh, maybe people have a lot of issues with this device. So this device is $181. I got it for 151. I'm using my friend Darcy from the Brazilian Girl Channel's uh, Black Friday code. I picked it up because I wanted to see the quality of current body and I wanted to test this out to see how well it would work. My main concern is plumping my lips. <coughs> Excuse me. I am so dry. I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost there. So, and my free gift was this free ice roller. I haven't opened that opened it. I'm probably going to do a giveaway for this because I already have an ice roller that I love and use. So I'll be testing this out and give you my feedback. You know, um, I will say I've used this three times now and my lips do feel smoother, but it's too early to tell as it does take a while to see results with LED light therapy, but I do like the setup. I think it looks great. So time will tell with this. I will keep you guys posted on that. And so my device routine, this is my current device routine that I'm going to share with you guys. So I always start off with LED light therapy, my radio frequency, and then my microcurrent lasts. Now, 
these are the devices that I use on my skin and that I love. And of course, you can use any red LED light therapy you'd like. You can use any radio frequency you like and any uh, microcurrent you would like. And you know, I love these devices. They've done amazing things for my skin and you guys know that I'm loyal to the devices that I love. Now, I will have a sneak peek for you. Well, not a sneak peek, but I am not testing the MyoLift QT, but I tested the new Jowls mask and I'm demonstrating it for you in this demo video. I absolutely love it. I saw a difference when I used this. And I cannot wait for these to be in stock because once they are, I will be stocking up on them. That's how much I loved it. And I do believe they are coming out with one for the neck too. Now, as with all devices, you know, I have to tell you guys this, age plays a big role. So after the age of 30, we, we lose one to 2% of collagen a year. Okay, so someone in their 30s is going to see faster results with these devices than someone in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, okay? So age, your health, your skin health, your diet plays a big role in the changes that you will see. Now, I know we live, and I always say this, in an instant gratification society. We want the results there now. But what you have to consider is that Rome wasn't built in a day and your aging wasn't there in a day. It has accumulated over the years. So it's going to take work to see these results. So with consistency, being on a schedule or a routine, having your skincare in place, hydration, diet and exercise, stretching, and working out that tension all over plays a huge role in your results. Now, I did point this out in my video. You know, if you're seeing the skin sagging and you're not seeing the results from your devices, you know, you have to take things into consideration. Your neck muscles, are they tight? Because it plays a big role in how your jowls look. Like for me, for instance, all this is super tight right now, so I have a little bit extra here. It looks better right now because I did that jowls mask and it really helped, but I also have been working out the tension. Now, I have so much tension in here, like when I go like this, it's sort of painful. And when I was doing my fascia release earlier, it was painful to work out. So. I need to do some major stretching because when I was sick over the last month, that all kind of went out the window because I didn't have the energy to do it. And I will be focusing on that and you will see this get lo looking better and better. Another thing that plays a role in this area too is weight gain, which has happened to me because I am in perimenopause and I'm struggling with my weight right now and my hormones it's up and down up and down and i'm trying to get it under control and sometimes what happens with that is you gain weight like during covid i barely even ate anything and you would have you would have thought that i would have lost weight i didn't lose weight i gained a couple of pounds how ironic is that it's kind of nuts and you know it all this area, there's so many factors to why you have your like your double chin, the loose skin here. But most of the time when people aren't seeing the results from their devices is because they are not stretching, they're not working out the tension in that area, or it could be due to genetics and weight gain. So there's a lot of factors that play into this and you need to take that into consideration because no device is a miracle. All right, so I'm gonna leave you there and um, you guys are gonna go into my demos. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in the next one. I am sending you all so much love and light and have a beautiful rest of your weekend. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome to this demo of my current device routine. 
Now I am going to be sharing with you what I have been doing to my skin for the last 30 days and I have been loving the results. Um, so first what I usually do, um, three days a week, I'll say three to four days a week, I perform the Aduro uh, 7-in-1 LED light mask on skin booster mode and I perform it in the mornings and five days a week I perform the new neck piece on my neck and my chest and my back. So what I do is I like to do it in the mornings because I love to use my LED light therapy with the green rooibos press serum from my Soma. I find that this really enhances your LED light therapy. It has for me, it speeds up the results and it protects your skin from oxidation. I love this. Now here's the one thing, here's a couple things about using this serum. One, you have to wait 15 to 20 minutes before you put on your LED light mask or you perform your LED light treatments because you have to give this time to penetrate into the skin. Two, it has oils in it, so I can't use my other devices right after this. So that's why I prefer to perform my LED light therapy in the mornings because then I'll just put on the rest of my skincare. When I use the Mysoma Serum, I just put on a moisturizer, an eye cream, and my SPF. I don't put on my other serums because this does contain oils and all my water-based serums will not penetrate the skin like how they're meant to penetrate the skin when I use this. You can put your water-based serums under this. Um, you just wanna make sure that they have no um, light blocking properties and they don't cause photosensitivity and that is sensitivity to light such as acids and retinoids. So when I'm going to perform LED light therapy with my other devices, then I will do it on bare skin or use a water-based serum. You, that does not contain any photosensitive ingredients or uh, light blocking properties. And sometimes I'll throw on my growth factor such as stem factor from osmosis, or I'll throw on my, like a copper peptide serum. So you can use copper peptides um, with your LED light therapy. You can use any water-based serum as long as it doesn't contain photosensitive ingredients or light blocking properties. Now, my face is red because I just got done working out, washed my face, and I put on my Mysoma serum. This has niacinamide. Now, it makes my skin turn red sometimes when I've already, like if, if I've exfoliated my skin, if my barrier's compromised, or if I've worked out because I had a lot of heat in my skin for my workout, my face gets red. Anytime I use a serum or a product with niacinamide, it causes me to flush like this. So don't be alarmed. I'm not allergic to niacinamide. I'm not allergic to the Mysoma serum. It's just what happens with niacinamide sometimes. So for any of you who take niacin, sometimes you get that niacin flush. Well, same thing happens with niacinamide in skincare products. Now, some people think this is an allergic reaction and it is not. Yes, my skin feels a little, you know, tingly and it feels warm, but that's because I already had a bunch of heat in my skin for my workout and I am sensitive and reactive. All right, so now I'm going to perform my LED light treatment. So the first thing I like to do is I'm going to put on my neck piece from Aduro. I'm going to set it up. So I'm gonna do 10 minutes on my neck and 10 minutes on my back. Now I love the Aduro, I love the size of it because it hits me in all my areas of concern on my chest, all the way down to my cleavage. It hits everything so nicely. And I will go ahead and I'm gonna put on the power supply right here. Okay, and then I will use my seven and one mask. So the seven and one mask is a 20 minute treatment and the neck piece is a 10 minute treatment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my seven and one now and I'm gonna turn it to skin booster mode, which is red 
LED light and infrared. So, oops, I passed it. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> All right, so here is skin booster mode. No, that's not skin booster. Here is skin booster mode. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna turn on my neck piece and I will be back in 10 minutes and I'll show you how I flip it around to the back. So I will see you in 10 minutes. Okay, so I already did my 10 minutes here on my chest and I flipped it around and put it here on my back. Now you can position this on your back to wherever you want it. You could put it down lower if you want, you could put it up higher, just depending on where you want to treat the areas on your back. But I put it up a little bit higher, just like right underneath the back of my neck. Um, because I do have some sun damage there on that area. Now, with this neck piece, you can use it on other areas of the body, especially on areas where you have psoriasis or eczema. So red LED light therapy is great for wound healing, and it's also great for inflammation. Eczema and psoriasis is inflammation, it's also, it's also sometimes we get wounds from it too, from the scratching, it creates like little scabs, dry flaky skin, sometimes there's bleeding involved. Red LED light therapy is awesome to put on your eczema to help treat it, treat it or your psoriasis. So if you do have any eczema or psoriasis, I suggest that you bust out your LED lights and use it to treat those areas. I have a couple of eczema breakouts right now that are healing from I, when I got COVID, um, my eczema flared up. So I've been using the LED light therapy to treat it and it has been working. And I should have thought about that in the beginning, but I didn't think of it. <laughs> um, so I wanted to give you that tip. So I'm gonna finish up the treatment here. And then when I come back, I'm gonna show you my new LED uh, light device and you get to see it in action. So I will see you in a sec. Okay, so I just finished up my LED light mask treatment and my neck and back. So now we're gonna play with my new device, which is the new um, lip perfe LED Lip Perfector from Current Body. This is the case and charging uh, station for it, and it comes with a USB cord that you plug into a, a USB port or into, into the wall um, or just any USB port. So here it is, and it's magnetically charged. You have these two little um, magnet chargers that hook onto the device here, and then you just pop it on, and there you go, it charges um, when you have it plugged in. I don't have mine plugged in. Now, this device is interesting. Um, so the reason why I picked this up is because I wanted to see current body's quality and I was intrigued by this just treating the lip area or around the mouth and the lips. Now, you have this mouthpiece and this is what goes into your mouth to hold the device. You can hold it with your teeth or you can hold it with your lips. Now, what I find is when I hold it with my lips, I do more of a pursing and I don't wanna do that. I want to treat my entire lips area and not purse it to encourage more wrinkles. So it is a little bit awkward. The, the LED light technology in here seems phenomenal. It's red, deep red, um, amber, and infrared. Now I'll turn it on and here is the lights right there. And this is the power button. So once you turn it on, it is a three minute cycle and it will automatically shut off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my mouth and we'll do a treatment. I've only, this is gonna be my third time using it. Um, I, my first impression is that it is awkward to you know, hold in the mouth. We'll see if that gets better over time. My other thing with this is, so this is $181 regular price. I used my friend Darcy's discount code um, from Current Body, her special Black Friday uh, discount code, and I got 20% off, so I paid $151 for this. 
My thing is, is I'm wondering if I should have just put that towards a light stim for wrinkles because the light stim for wrinkles has the same technology, but it's patented and it's not all just the lights combined into here where the light stem for wrinkles is actually different colored lights that you see in the head. So we'll see, but I wanted to pick this up because it's new. I wanted to test out curtain current body. And in case any of you are interested in this versus a light stem for wrinkles, I can test it out for you. So let's go ahead and perform this treatment. So I'm going to put it in my mouth. Okay, I can't talk. <laughs> so, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so my treatment is finished with this now. Now you can take the mouthpiece out here. They give you two mouthpieces and wash it off and replace it. I will tell you that the best way that I have found for this um, to stay in my mouth without pursing my lips and I can treat my lips because my main goal with this is to help with plumping and smoothing out the texture of my lips. Around the border of my lips, they are looking so much better. Um, I, my lines around here have minimized. The texture is looking better since I have been using the Nebby Lift and also incorporating the Epic Skin Tool with my Osmosis Skincare Routine. Now, but the plumpness of my lips is diminishing because I'm aging. I'm 45 and a half, I'll be 46 here in, um, in May, so you know, things are happening. But I wanted to get this to help with that and um, also test it out for you guys because it is brand new. It's a way for me to try out Current Body's products because I've been getting a lot of complaints about their products lately, um, like the quality. Now, the quality, I would say of this, I mean, it's just okay. It's nothing to write home about. And I'm questioning if it's really worth the price. Like I said, I think I should have probably have just picked up the light stem for wrinkles because if I don't want to do the LED light mask, if I maybe just want to treat my eyes, I can do that. Now, with the LED light mask, my Aduro does treat my eye area around here. It does not treat right here above my eyebrow, and that's where a light stem for wrinkles would be useful because if I wanted to hold it over my whole entire eye and treat my hooded area, my brow bone, and my eyelid skin, I can do that. With a mask, you can't do that. And also with the mask, it does not treat the upper lip area with the lights. So, or your lip area, it does have lights in here that treat this area. So there's things to look into when getting a mask because it doesn't treat everything to where you can have a handheld to treat those specific areas or you have a handheld if you don't want to do a mask treatment. Anyways, I will continue to test this and I will give you my final thoughts, you know, after I'm done testing, it takes. So with LED light therapy, within the first 30 days, you're going to see your skin look more glowing. You're going to see it look, you know, maybe a little bit more plump. You'll see the texture smooth out a bit. Some, of, some do notice, you know, their lines looking better, but it usually takes eight to 12 weeks with consistent use per device instructions to really see the benefits of LED light therapy. And you continue on and those results will get better and better over time. LED light therapy is one of my favorite modalities because you can use it with any device practically and it's non-invasive and pretty much everyone can use it. It's wound healing. It is an amazing treatment that is seriously underrated because people aren't seeing instant gratification with it. All right.
Okay, so now I'm gonna do some fascia release. Um, I've been slacking on this this week. So I just put my Osmosis Nourish Oil over my Mysama Serum, and I'm just gonna tackle it out right now. My skin is nice and warmed up from my red LED light therapy, and I sometimes like to do this. I really like to put my LED light therapy on first before I do a fascia release. I feel like it really preps the skin um, for fascia release because you want your tissues to be warmed up so that fascia will release easier and your muscles are more relaxed. Now, um, in the Osmosis Nourish Oil, they do use essential oils. Pretty much, they have essential oils in pretty much all of their products except for some. Not, they don't have it in their eye creams, but here's the thing is why I can use the essential oils in these products is because they're not put in there to treat skin issues and concerns. They're put in there mainly to fragrance the product, and that is it. They use them at the correct ratios and they're not overlapping like, you know, three to 10 freaking essential oils, which causes a lot of inflammation in the skin. When companies don't use the correct ratio of essential oils in the products, that's where it creates issues in the skin. And it may not come initially, but eventually you will develop a sensitivity to it and it will make your skin inflamed and sensitive. All right, so let's get into this. So I always start off with my chest first. So let me grab my chest device for you. So I'm currently using this for my chest. This is the Pro Blaster from Ashley Black. And I love it for my chest because it's a bigger tool and I can cover a larger area. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time with doing this. I should, but I will save that probably for tomorrow or Monday. But tomorrow I'm gonna give myself a facial infusion, which is Osmosis's answer to a peel. So I'm releasing up that tension, and I usually take this in the shower with me, and I'll do my arms, my legs, I'll do my whole body with this. So when you're working your fascia, you don't wanna go in circles, you wanna go horizontal, or vertical, okay? So horizontal, cross fiber, vertical. Never in circles with the fascia. And I like to focus a lot here in the center of my chest because I'm a side sleeper and I get the crinkles, which my chest looks so good right now. You can't, I, I did a before picture and you can't like really see it, but I can see it, so. Normally I would like to do my arms too, but I'm not comfortable with showing you guys that on camera. Maybe soon I will, but you know, I've put on some weight and my body's not where I would like it to be. So I'm really self-conscious about it. And that's the reason why I don't show you like a full routine with the fascia blasters because it would require me to show a lot of my body. And even if I was in shape, I wouldn't be comfortable sharing that part of my body with you. So next up, I like to take it and work my traps here in the back, in the back of the shoulder. And I really need this because I went to the chiropractor, I got adjusted, but I am carrying so much tension in my upper back and in my neck. And I really have been seeing it in my skin. And it's really, really not good. So these muscles right here in my neck are super tight. And you know, if you are noticing your jowls, you have to also take into consideration that sometimes the skin here, it could be from weight gain. It could be that the muscles in your entire jawline are tight, even your depressors. Also your platysma, but also your neck muscles right in through here right here is tight and when that's tight the skin will hang down and you'll have this like little it looks like almost it's starting of a double chin and that's what's been happening to me lately well one you know i put on weight but two is that my neck muscles are so tight right now i need to do more stretching and more fascia release to get this to pick up so that's my story <laughs> but you know that's why I always tell you that, you know, releasing facial tension 
and not just in the face, but in the neck, the shoulders, and in the chest is so, so important. And you also gotta do those stretches too, because when your shoulders and your neck and your chest are all tight, it will affect this area greatly. So if you're not seeing things pick up, if you're not seeing your devices tighten your skin, there's a good chance that one, you have to take into consideration your age, but there's also a good chance that you're not releasing that tension. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Omna and I'm just going to work the back of my, my neck really quickly. I'm just gonna do like 30 seconds on each section. This is going to be a quick release. Um, I normally like to spend a lot more time, but I'm in a time crunch today. <laughs> I'm getting a late start. So I like to perform a full session, a longer session. Sometimes it takes me 20 minutes and I'm working all areas about two days a week. One day a week, I like to do a light session all over. And then one day a week, I like to do those deep fascia holds. So that is my current fascia release routine. But I'm just going to briefly do this as a demo for you guys so you can see it quickly. This is my quick release session. I can definitely do this longer. And I love using the Omna because it's very ergonomic for me. So I am going to go ahead and take it on my neck really quick all over. Take it, I like to take it up behind my ear. Oh, this is so painful even at this light pressure and when you're using these you use light brisk pressure you're not light pressure brisk movement you're not digging into your skin So this is great to do before your devices because it's going to bring that blood flow up to the surface and nutrients, which is gonna help build that collagen and elastin. But for microcurrent, you will get a better lift. So I like to come up underneath the chin area, put my chin tight like this, and I like to go up and down this area. And I also like to take it cross fiber. Okay, next I'm just gonna do a quick jawline underneath my jaw. Okay, and then here on my depressor and my lower jaw cheek area. Okay, and then I'm going to take it vertical. Take it underneath my cheekbone. I have a new tool I've been using for this. It's not new, you guys have seen it, but you could take your Omna and use it right here on the side of your nose for the little wrinkles, they call them bunny whiskers, right in through here. I also like it for my eye area. I just do it gently, like a windshield wiper motion. And then I take one finger Go horizontal and work the crow's feet. Okay, 
If you guys can hear a noise, I should have said this at the beginning of the demo. I have my heater on and it's right next to me on the floor. It is so cold. It's cold and rainy here today. It's like we totally skipped fall and went straight from summer to winter. <laughs> we had a long summer. It ended at the end of October. <laughs> All right, so now I sandwich my brow in between the two fingers and then I go back and forth just like this. Okay, and then I do horizontal on my forehead. I do horizontal and vertical. And then vertical, I like to go like this. For my brows, or in between my brows, with the 11s, I just take one finger and then just go in between like this. Okay. The This is the Fascia Blaster OMG um, tool, and it came in a box with, like, I think five attachments. This is my favorite attachment, and you can get this solo now. Um, this... I love. I love it for my lips. And you can put it directly on your lips too. I love it for the lip area. Oh my gosh, this is like the best. I love it for the nasal labial fold. You can go down. And you can go horizontal. But I love using this to work my lip area. Around the border on top of the lips. When you use this on your lips, it will give you instant plumping. I have so much tension around here. I love it for the bunny whiskers. You can use it lightly underneath here. You can even turn it this way. I love it for my crow's feet. It feels so, so good. I love it for working above my brow. I get a lot of tension here because when I raise my brows, this is very prominent and I need to work this out sometimes because sometimes it stands out. Love it for going in there and treating my little forehead wrinkles that I have. In between the brows. Feels amazing. I even love to come in here and treat this area this area right here with it. It's so easy. Okay, I also love it for right here in front of my ear where I get a lot of tension built up because of clenching my jaw. I love it for right here behind my jaw. All right, so there is one side of my face. I'm gonna go off camera and do the other side. I will be having an updated uh, facial tension release video coming to you very soon. I'll see you in a sec. Mwah. Okay, so I'm back. I just cleansed my skin and I used the Osmosis Cleanse. This is their gentle cleanser. I love this cleanser and I love using it with my devices. So this is like my everyday Osmosis Cleanser. I love it as a morning cleanse. I love it as an evening cleanse. It doesn't dry out my skin. It's just a beautiful cleanser. It does have peppermint oil in it. So for those of you who are sensitive to it, you might want to avoid it. But I used to have issues with peppermint and mint in my skincare, but I don't have any issues with this. It doesn't cause any inflammation or irritation in my skin. And I love that minty feeling it gives me when I use it because it's kind of like, Ooh, it's time to wake up now. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go into radio frequency. I'm going to use my N1 because I'm going to do a 10-minute uh, treatment with the N1. Oh, I'm gonna do 12 minutes. So that's uh, two minutes longer than the original treatment. I'm just gonna turn it off. This button is sensitive uh, for turning it on. When you're in the treatment, it doesn't switch out the treatment. Um, level when you're using it if you hit this you have to pull it off your skin i'll show you that 
So soon I will have a um, new video with an updated treatment for the R1. So that will be coming soon, just so you guys know. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Nebulip Organic um, Soothing Botanical Gel, and I'm gonna take three pumps, and I always start out on my forehead. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm going to use, I use um, Normal on my forehead. So I'm gonna to go to normal mode, which is level two. And I will just do a, a two minute treatment here on my forehead. I'm not gonna spend the whole 10 minutes here, but what I do is I do two minutes on my forehead, two minutes on this cheek, two minutes on this cheek, two minutes underneath my jaw, and then two minutes on my chest. That's what I do for most of my treatments. Sometimes, like three days a week, I'll break it up into a longer treatment and I'll do this side of my neck and this side of my neck separately. So I will break it down for you when I do the R1 video. And I was even thinking about maybe we can do a comparison video between the two devices um, because I I know someone yelled at me saying that the N1 isn't stronger than the R1 well it is it has more horsepower and on level 5 compared to level 3 on the N so our level 5 on the R1 is the highest setting and on the N1, level three is the highest setting. And level three, the heat feels stronger than level five on the R1. And the reason behind that is that the N1 has a larger head. It has a ceramic, this is ceramic, right here and the gold dots are titanium so you feel more of the heat and it delivers it at more horsepower into the skin so all right so i am going to continue on with this and i will be back for microcurrent Hi everyone, I just finished with my radio frequency treatment. Now, um, one thing I wanted to point out before I go into microcurrent is that with the N1, I know this um, on and off button is really sensitive. As Every time when I talk about the device and I pick it up, I touch it with my finger. However, when you have conductive gel on your skin and you are in your treatment with this, if you press this, it will not move into the next level. At least I haven't experienced that with my treatments. Now, if I put it on my skin right now, the conductive gel is dried up and if I press it, now it will change. But if I have conductive gel on my skin, this will not move to the next setting or turn on and off when you were performing your treatment. The only way it would is if you don't have enough conductive gel on your skin. So I wanted to bring that up to you. Now, I always perform a microcurrent as my last device. And um, lately what I have been doing is just leaving the Nebulip gel on my skin. I love this organic soothing gel. It's my favorite. Not only is it perfect for the Nebulip treatment, it's so hydrating and my skin has no issues with it. So what I do sometimes, if I'm going to be doing the probes with my Myolift Mini or a full face Myolift QT treatment, I go in with my Restore Conductive Gel on top. If I'm going to treat a small area such as my eyes, my lips, or even sometimes my gels, I go in with the Replenish Conductive Mist on top of the Nebulip Gel, or I use this when I use my Velv Pro Facial Wand. When I'm gonna perform my hands-free mask, 
I usually like to go in with the ATP booster mask. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I am gonna use the Myolith Mini with these two on the splitters. Now this is the new hands-free gel mask. I haven't tried it yet, so today's the first day. So I'm gonna do this with the eyes. So this comes up underneath your chin and we put it like this, right underneath for the jowls, okay? I'm gonna do that along with the eye mask. So let me put on, I'm just gonna put the ATP booster mask all over my skin. So I'm just gonna grab some out and just dot it around everywhere. Oops. So you could do these conductive masks over a sheet mask if you want. You can do it over conductive gel. You could do it over the conductiveness or you could use the ATP booster mask. I have been loving the ATP booster mask for this treatment. Okay. So we got it all around all the areas and plus more where that mask is going to be. All right, so now I'm done with that. Now let's place the gels mask first. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the backing and make sure I put it in a safe place and attach this to my gels. Oops. Kind of hard for me to use the viewfinder. And then I take this and put it behind my ears. Okay. Next, I'm gonna place my eye mask over my eyes. Perfect. So there we go. Next, I'm going to turn on my MyLift Mini. Okay guys, I'm back. I just finished up my treatment and believe it or not, I did laundry. <laughs> I um, carried my MyoLift with me and I took clothes out of the washer, put them in the dryer. Took the, well, I took the clothes out of the dryer, put them out to fold. Then I took the clothes out of the washer, put them in the dryer, and then I hung up clothes that need to be hung up. And I folded the clothes that needed to be Folded. See, you can be mobile with your MyoLift Mini. Of course, the QT would be ideal because I could just put it in my pocket, but I didn't have it charged and I thought I did. So, mm, brain fog. All right, so let's take these off. So we'll start off with the eye mask. And, and then we'll do the gel mask. Okay, so... You want to make sure that when you put these back, you put them back um, on the side that you took the sticky part off. So this gel one, I wish it was cut a little bit larger so I didn't have to be so precise with putting it on, but that wasn't bad. And then next, my eye mask. I always cover them first because I don't want to set them down on something I'm not supposed to and deplete the stickiness. All right, so we'll set those aside. Take a look, oh my gosh, I see a difference. Like right here, it did pick this up some and my jawline looks a little bit more defined right in here. Wow, impressive. I love that new hands-free jaw mask. When that is available for sale, I will be stocking up on that. Now, they are gonna be coming out with a mask for the neck too. They don't have that one yet. It's an option in the QT app. So um, it's popping up for my next treatment to do per my um, program that I set up in the QT app as I'm testing it. Now, as of right now, I'm not testing the QT app. I kind of hold off a little bit on it because there's programs um, in the program that I set up that I can't do. And they're still in the middle of updating it. I do check it to see the updates as they come. I get notifications because I'm part of the testing program. So my plan is when the app launches, it's going to be any day now, I am going to start my new uh, device routine, which the only thing that's going to be different 
is that I am going to set up the QT app for my concerns and I'm going to follow it for the next 30 days. And I'm going to forgo my MyoLift Mini unless the app tells me to use it, but I haven't seen that option yet. No, it's not in the app. Um, so usually what I have been doing now is I'll do a full MyoLift Mini session using Erase all over and Educate all over. And then I pick up my QT and I'll do the hands-free mask. I'll work on my eyes, lips, my jaws, do a quick five minute treatment all over or do a full treatment all over. That's what I've been doing for my microcurrent. And I love it, it works. I love the app because it's gonna give me something to do every day. Another thing that I love is that these treatments, the longest treatment is 15 minutes. It's so easy, it's not time consuming. It's something that you can do every day if you choose to or you could just pick it up and do what's recommended for you when you have the time. And if you choose not to use the suggested treatment, you can go into the app and do a custom session. You can choose something else that you would like to work on. It's just fabulous and I can't wait for you all to experience it. Now, I hope that you found that this video was helpful. And as soon as that QT uh, app is fully released, I will do a video of it, but I mainly wanted to give you a sneak peek of the new hands-free gel mask. I love it and I cannot wait for the neck mask. So put this on your radar as soon as it's released. I will let you know if they don't send, if you don't get the email first from them. I'll do a community post and I'll do a post in my Instagram stories. All right, everyone, I'm sending you all so much love and light and I will see you in the next one. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you for all your love and support and I have, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day or evening. Mwah. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day.